Hey guys, Ping here. Um, today I'm going to talk about the location line, location line of a wall. Okay, so let's start. So first, I'll create a project and then create some wall W A and uh, create a timber stud brick veneer wall. And I'll change the detail to medium so we can see the layer. Okay, so I'll split the wall, and uh, so now I'll try to change this wall. And here, mm, I, I, I want to change this brick veneer wall to a timber stud wall, but uh, I want uh, the timber stud wall to align with the stud of this brick veneer wall. Okay, so now if I so have a look at this location line so now it's a wall center line okay so if if i change this to a timber start uh, start timber wall 90 mil wall so you will see it will align to the center of this wall or sorry align to the center of the original wall okay so control z so this is the center of the original wall and if i change to this it will uh, Align to this, and then to align to the this um, star, I need to move. But uh, you will see this wall will move t together, and you can you can you can still pin this wall and move it, but uh, it's extra steps. See, it's unjoined, and then you need to try to join it back so and then you probably need to unpin it so that's like extra a few steps so um, how can we do it uh, just one step so let's do it here so I'll split this wall and uh, so before we change the wall time have a look so that's wall center but uh, can we just change the wall and align to this wall this line so that's this is core center so if you edit type and have a look of this uh, here so see the core boundary so in this the 90 mil timber start is a core okay so we can use the core center when we change the uh, change the wall type so here location line change this to core center Okay, so and then you can change it to team start wall and it will automatically align. Right? Let's do it again. So split this wall. So um, I'll, I'll, actually I'll just copy this one and uh, duplicate and create create a new one. So so I'll just add some plasterboard wall. So sorry, plasterboard. <clears throat> so for example 10 mil here and another one down finish four and plus four 10 mil okay so okay okay so now we have this uh start wall with plus board and if i want if i change this one i can use change this to core center and then i'll change this wall type to this so you will see it automatically align to that. And sometimes you can't use the um, face. Uh, it depends on what what the walls are. So, um, for example, if you want to align to the center of core, you just use the center core. Sometimes you want to align to the internal face. Then you change to a uh, finish finish face interior. Sometimes if we want to align, so for example, I'll just copy this wall here. So if I want this wall, so for example, if I want to change this wall to a different type, but uh, change it to a generic 200, and then I want to keep the exterior ex exterior uh, uh, footprint. So I can change this to uh, fa finish face exterior see and then I'll change this to 200 wall so 
so you can keep the exterior uh, footprint of your building. So, okay, so <coughs> um, um, that's it. Uh, and also, I'll show you another example of this. Um, I'll change this wall to existing. Okay, I'll create a door and I'll make this door existing as well and then I'll demolish this door in new construction so now if you look at here when you demolish when you demolish I'll just delete the door tag when you demolish a uh, existing door Revit will create this wall and this wall the wall type of this wall will be the same as the this wall so sometimes you don't uh, you don't want don't need a brick veneer wall here so maybe just a timber style wall so what you can do is you can just change the wall type but before you change just have a look here so it's wall center here it's wall center here so which means if you change the wall type so when I watch if I change it to start timber 90 this one will sitting um, will sit in the center of this here okay so maybe I'll, hang on. I'll just change the change the filter to show complete so we can see the layer of the existing wall so probably we don't want this wall to sit in the center maybe align to this start so what we can do is go here change it to core center and then it won't it, it it's okay it done change but we can just flip this and then it will say oh, it's automatic along to this because this is a core the same with the same uh, thickness 90 mil okay so go so let's do it again a window I'll do a window WN window WN so I'll change this to existing and demolish it then so we have this infill wall so and then if I want to change to 90 mil start I just need to change this to core center and then change it to 90 mil so you probably need to click on this to along okay so let's have a look in 3d so that's some infill wall with different thickness so that's 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 it for today um, if you have any question let me know and I'll see you next time thank you bye